Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's kind of late. I just really don't post late at night. <sighs> I'm trying not to overthink things, but sometimes I overthink shit a lot. I've noticed lately. Um, I know for court, there's something coming up that kind of dreading, but I'm hoping that That when I do when I do bring it out that hopefully it doesn't go over too bad but I mean I don't want to drag this person in the middle of my problems but of course the juvenile courts we all know how that they go because they suck ass so fucking bad thanks to my son's father I cannot control that anyways um, I got my sheen package today. Shine, sheen, whatever. Um, I guess I'll start with the most easy stuff. I got a bag of from sheen. They have a the wrapping. I guess I'll take out the wrapping. How it looks. So little. Look how cute that is. I thought it would be bigger, but it's little. From Sheen. If you guys are looking for like anything cute and adorable to order, if you have girls, like especially like you dads, like if you're looking for something for like your daughters and you're looking for something very, very cute, very stylish, I highly. Sorry, I know it's not a gunshot. That was me. Sorry, y'all. I love these little hopper things. Sorry. <laughs> Since you hear pop pop, that was me. Sorry, y'all. Um, I ordered that the bag. It has a cute little chain thing, um, ordered a couple pairs of earrings, Halloween earrings, put those in there, okay, ordered this is supposed to be for the wedding, and this is just an idea for the wedding. It's just an idea. That's why I ordered it for my flower girls. I love, like, if you're, well, I'm not trying to say old, but if you're like me, I'm into the whole hipster, old school thing. If you're like me in any way, I love the whole hippie vibe type thing, see? Hippie type thing. See, I was kind of going for the hippie hipster type vibe. Flowers for my, I was thinking either for like my bridesmaids or for my flower girls. For my flower girls, that'd be kind of awesome to have in the wedding. I'll put that in there. And then for Halloween coming up, since my son's birthday is in the month of October, I love Halloween. So I usually do like cute little Halloween headbands. I'm obsessed with headbands. I know I look stupid, but I don't care. A little Halloween hipster. Sorry, I like to show off my little cute Halloween accessories. Come in little different headband things. If you know me, I'm a girly girl. I like the Halloween little headbands. Especially this is my favorite one, Halloween-ish, that I love. These are all from Sheen, if you must know. It's all from Sheen. 
And then my favorite parts. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm a girly girl, so I love Halloween headbands. I love my headbands. I'm a freak of headbands. So if you know me, I love my headbands. Um, like I've advertised before, I buy from my girl, Sierra Withers. She runs a little company in Harrison called Boho Chic Boutique in Harrison, Ohio. She runs a cute country boutique in Harrison. I buy off of her. Um, so I kind of do like her headbands. And I found this one girl who I didn't know nothing about. So my one friend directed me to all of, all of her stuff. I got this headband. Cute, right? Got this one. It's purple, my favorite color. Got this one. White with the pumpkins. I think that's kind of cute. And then another order of headbands. All these products that I'm showing are from a company called Sheen or Shine, however, that you want to say. I've got another order coming tomorrow from Sheen, so I will have my other order tomorrow. And I'm kind of excited because I love to order off of Sheen. That's like my company. I love their stuff. It's another Halloween headband. Another Halloween headband. Then another Halloween headband. I'm, I'm obsessed, y'all, with headbands. I'm a freak of headbands, if y'all cannot tell. I'm a freak of headbands. Like, I love headbands. Like, I'm obsessed with bags, too, as y'all cannot tell. I'm, like, obsessed. Um. Okay, how do I put this? Um, 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 there's like one thing for court that I have to do and it's not like a bad thing. It's just something because in order for me to do what I have to do for me and my son, it's just like, it's not a bad thing. It's just kind of something for my son's sake that has to be done. And the thing about it is, is that I'm hoping that. Um, when I do have to talk about it, I'm hoping that a certain someone doesn't take it a certain some certain way. I'm hoping. Um, I don't know. I'm just scared because I don't want people to think I'm this bad person because I'm not. I'm not this bad mom that I just don't want to be put out there as, and I just don't want people to think, oh, she's this bad person. She's this. She's that. She's blah blah blah. blah. This is that. No. I just don't want people to think the worst about me. That's what I'm scared about. Like, I'm just scared of people thinking, like, the worst about me. Like, if people understood, like, what's really going on with my stuff for court, you would understand. It's just a big misunderstanding. And this nightmare needs to end soon. I hope it does. But my stupid ass messed up today because I missed a physical therapy appointment, which I was not aware of that I even had today. Wasn't aware of it, so I missed I missed that. So yeah, now I'm behind on my on my physical therapy. Not very happy with myself right now. Plus, I got to talk to my fiance about some stuff, which I hope he's gonna be okay with and doesn't judge me for it because I really feel like I'm gonna get judged for it. Because I'm not a bad person. It's just a whole misunderstanding over some stupid ass shit. Over some stupid ass lies. I mean, I'm scared half to death. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm not this bad mom or nothing like that. It's nothing like that. It's just 
stupid ass shit for the courts and it's just really embarrassing and it's just I hope that he doesn't take it the wrong way when I have to. And an update from this morning, I had my second job interview. Ugh. Update from this morning. I had my second job interview in person, which it went really good. The job interview was really interesting. Um, the job's pretty easy, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I got the call early well, later. Well, earlier today, and I officially got the job. So I'm happy. So now all I gotta do is just talk to my fiance about this other thing, and I'm hoping he's hoping he's on me understanding about it, which I hope. I'm scared out to death, I ain't gonna lie. Because I don't want him to think I'm this bad person, because I'm not. You know, because he means the world to me, and I don't, I don't want to you know, screw something this good up because of something so stupid and so petty. You know, just something so stupid. You know, I just don't want to have it screwed up. You, you know, I just I don't want it screwed up. You know, I just don't want this shit screwed up because I have worked so hard to get where I'm at in my life and I'm so, so happy and it's like, I just don't want nothing screwing this up. And it's like, I just feel bad because having to bring him in on my problems means that, I mean, he's already, you know, being cool about, you know, the whole co-parenting situation. About, you know, he's willing to work with me and, you know, my son's dad. But on top of this, now I'm going to drop something else on him. It's like, oh, I'm so scared. Like, I'm not trying to say he's a bad guy or nothing like that. It's just, it's just stupid crap. Because the courts are that stupid. The courts are that petty. Like, the courts are that dumb. It's just petty shit. It's just dumb shit. It's just, it's, it's stupid crap. It's just what it is. It's just stupid crap. And I really do love this guy, and I really hope this guy feels the same way about me. And I'm just really hoping that when I do have to, you know, talk to him about this, I really hope that he's very understanding, he's very loving, very caring, very, you know, open to just saying, you know, hey, if you need this son, I'll do it for you because I love you and, you know, I love us and I love your on is my own, you know, and, you know, I ain't got nothing to hide, you know, like, I just hope he's open to it, you know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes for my family, you know, I do love this guy to death, and I hope this guy feels the same way about me, you know, and I don't want no judgments, and it's like, I'm just scared half to death, you know, I may be overthinking this, but, I mean, I'm just scared half to death, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm scared. But I've never, I'm not gonna lie, I've never met a man who has been so in love with me and loves my son and loves me to death. I've never met a man that loves me as much as he does. And this is so real and so amazing to me. It's just like, I just don't want to lose what I have with him. And this whole battle with court, I just don't want him to make me feel like I'm just this bad person because I'm not. It's just a big misunderstanding that should have never happened. And it's like, I just feel like I'm being misjudged and misunderstood. And, I mean, it's bad enough that he's already dealing with an issue with his. And I'm not trying to drag him in the middle of my problems. But it's like, I just, I don't want to be losing him. Because I love him that much. And I'm just hoping that he's understanding about it and everything else. That's why I'm so nervous to tell him, like, it's nothing bad or nothing. It's just, I'm really hoping that he's understanding about it. I just, because I've already asked him one thing, and I'm grateful that he took the time out to actually be thinking about it. I mean, I'm grateful on that. I mean, I know it takes a real man to stand up to the plate and say, hey, yeah, I'm going to stand up to the plate and be, you know, a part of something, you know, I'm walking into, you know, and everything else. But it's like, I gave him enough time to think about it. Now this, on top of it, I'm so fucking scared. 
I mean, I'm just, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really scared. I'm not going to lie. So I'm hoping that when I do tell him about this, because I do love him. I do want to marry him. I do want us together. It's just, I just want to make sure that I'm doing what's right for my son. And if he really does love Trey like he says he does, he'll do it. Be he'll do it because of Trey. If he does really care about Trey, he'll do this because of Trey. He'll just say, you know what? I love Trey. I love you. You know, I'll come down there and do it. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to argue about it. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm just really, really scared. So I'm hoping that when I talk to him about it, I'm hoping that I could feel a little bit better about it. So I'm hoping. Hoping. But um, tomorrow, I've got orientation for this new job. And got to do, you know, paperwork, all nine yards of that. And basically, I'm hoping things go good, I hope. Fingers crossed. I hope. I hope. I hope. So I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I may be overthinking this. I may be. Who knows? I'm, I'm good for overthinking shit. So, I mean, you know, he's already thought about the whole co-parenting situation, which I'm grateful for. You know, takes an honest man to stand up and, you know, say that. You know, it really does. But I'm hoping that I don't regret this. I'm hoping. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm on post later. Deuces. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself and be real. Or shall I say be happy, be bright, be you. Deuces.